Hi, in this video we're going to cover the on focus and on blur events and at the same time solve the previous uh, assignment. In the previous video we covered the conditional statements in JavaScript, in other words the if-else statements. In the previous uh, assignment, uh, well, we what I asked you to do is uh, when a text box is focused, I when a user tries to insert some text into it to change its background color to gray and border to green. So let's uh, go and see how to do that. So I created here a new file, and between the body tag, I'm gonna create an input. Uh, tag uh, to create my text box uh, to create the text box as we know we need to specify the type as uh, text as soon as I save this file let's look at our text box and refresh it so here's our text box now uh, we want to do something when this text box is focused. So for that reason, we need to use the onFocus event, or the onFocus, uh, technically speaking, the onFocus attribute. And here, as we did in previous videos, we're going to specify a function. So this is the name of the function. And then we're going to specify exactly what it does within the script tag the script tag, uh, if you remember, needs to be within the between the head uh, tag. Now here I'm going to define my function, and the name is do on focus. There are no arguments that I need for this. So we wanted to do two things. One was to change uh, the background color and what I forgot to do is I forgot to specify an ID in order to refer to that tag so I'm just gonna use something descriptive text box so in order to change uh, the background color I need to use the document object and I need to refer to the specific element In order to do that, I need here to copy and paste the ID. So now I'm referring to the specific element, and then I can change its background color by referring to the style dot background, and in that way I can now have I can change its background. I'm gonna choose a light gray color. And I need to do something similar to change. So I'm just going to copy and paste uh, the previous line. And now uh, I'm going to change also its border. So the border color, and this is what we wanted. The border color I'm going to change to green. Again, I could, I could specify the specific hexadecimal value. And since this function does not read, need to return anything, we're going to return false. I'm going to save uh, the file and go back to our browser, refresh the web page, so you see that nothing happens when the text box is out of focus, but when I click on it, in other words, when the text box gets focus, the background and the border color is changed. Now, as we can see, uh, when the background, when the uh, text box loses focus, nothing happens. So this is actually our next uh, assignment. This is uh, the solution uh, to our assignment. And uh, the follow-up assignment was uh, to look at uh, when a text box loses focus, to change this background color back to white and border to gray. So let's see how to do that. So as you can see, when I refresh the page, the text box has a white background and a gray border color. However, when I click on it, in other words, when the text box gets focused, I change its background color and border color. 
Nevertheless, when it loses focus, it stays uh, with uh, those colors. So let's see how to actually change that. Now, in order to change that, we need to tap into the on blur event and here specify another function, do on blur. And since uh, this is this function is very similar with uh, the do on focus, I'm going to copy and paste the do on focus function. And the only thing that I'm going to change is its name. So now when the on blur event triggers, the do on blur function is going to be executed. And what happens in the do on blur function is specified right here. So we want to change the background color back into white and the border color into a light gray. So let's see what happens if I save the file, I move back to the browser, I refresh the page. So you see this is the initial state of our text box. If it gets focus, the background color changes into a light gray and green. And if it loses focus, the background color, as you can see here, I did a mistake. So instead of using the FFF value, which is uh, for white, I use the 00, zero so it, it became black. So I'm going to refresh. So this is, you see, the, uh, the web page. I saved my uh, HTML file. I refresh the web page. As you can see, this is the desired result. And if I click outside now the text box somewhere here, you see is the text box gets back into the white and gray, the white background color and gray uh, border color. Again, if I if it gets focus, it's going to change into this. It uh, loses focus. In other words, when it's blurred, when the on blur event, I should say, is triggered, it goes back to its initial state. And this, uh, with this uh, short exercise, so we, we covered the on-focus and on-player events in the next video, uh, which is also your assignment. So what I would like to ask you to do, which I'm going to solve in the next video, is when a web page loads, the first form field should be on-focus, i.e. ready to receive uh, user input. This is something, uh, it's a common uh, issue with uh, web forms. Uh, we could uh, support the user's uh, experience by having the first form of field on focus when the web page uh, loads. So as uh, two tips, uh, you, you can use the form that we developed in the previous video series and you can have a look at this URL uh, for solving uh, this assignment. But uh, we're actually going to do that in the next video.